What's up YouTube, Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. So how do you test your Adobe Atmos setup? Pretty sure you guys do what I've been doing for many years. I use Adobe Atmos, DTSX, or 3D demo discs, right? Uh, but those typically only have tests associated with four height speakers. It gets you there, but not entirely. Personally, I would play familiar scenes, you know, from my favorite movies, that are in Atmos, DTSX, or, or, or a 3D, and there's nothing out there that actually has an Atmos viewer like the Trinov, where there is visual representation of what's happening on the screen and how it correlates to your speaker setup. Trinov is equi equivalent to my kids' college education. So, kids' college or Trinov? I do opt for the Trinov, but I would get divorced. There are consequences. So I have the next best thing, the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. The torture test section in this particular disc uh, gives you the visual representation for the accompanying tests for $15,900 less. Kids go to college, I get to see how the sound is traveling through the room and if my height channel setup meets or exceeds the expectations. So for this video, I enlisted the services of my brother and my two nephews. They obviously have no idea why they're here. Uh, they think that uh, they're gonna be watching a demo because that's what I usually do, I bring them up, up here. If we're not gonna be watching a movie, I'll give them a demo or I'll ask them their thoughts about what they thought about a scene and, and so on and so forth. But this is strictly for the purposes of locating where the sounds are coming from as we actually go through the torture tests. To me, that's the best test, right? Run a torture test on someone who has no idea what they're walking into. With the torture tests on this disc, you get a visual representation of what's happening on the screen and where the sound is supposed to be. You can use pink noise or you can have techno dad moving all around your room, right? Uh, I opted for Technodad moving all around my room. Uh, tests will show you what's good about your setup and most importantly, where the gaps and weaknesses are in your setup. I have a 7.2.6 setup and I'll leave a card for the video that I recently did about the angles and the placement of my high channel speakers. So the reason why I wanted to go through these torture tests is because my top middle speakers aren't really where they're supposed to be. They're a little bit forward from the listening position. And there is a whole story behind it. But in short, I, I didn't plan to do a six height speaker setup. Right? So what I did was I repurposed the top, the top fronts, which are slightly forward, to top middle. Right? So they're not in that ideal location uh, where they are above, they're supposed to be above your right and left surround speakers, you know, uh, in the ceiling, they are slightly forward. So the purpose of uh, me going through these torture tests was just to see when the sound is moving from the, the rear right, top rear right, all the way to the top or the front height left, the speakers that are engaged in these torture tests, right, is gonna engage your top middle speakers. And when it's engaging the top middle speakers is the the sound actually traveling on axis right uh, from uh, right rear to or top up top right rear to you know all the way over my head or is it going like sideways and then going there right there is no other disc where you can actually validate that other than this disc right here all right so here they are this is my nephew Seth my brother Atif and my other nephew Zoheb, right? So these guys, they're not audiophiles, but they're going to be my subjects, test subjects here, as I play the voice of a certain YouTube celebrity, Technodad, and you guys are gonna tell me where and how the sound is traveling. The, the most important part that I am actually interested in, in is when, the, when his voice goes diagonal. From here, from the left speaker, to the rear right speaker or from front left speaker to the rear right speaker and vice versa in X's okay it's gonna go in X's right you are gonna have to tell me essentially what you're hearing how is it moving you know from speaker to speaker and so on and so forth so 
ideally you should be able to follow a there is a dot on the screen so you're gonna look at that dot and you're gonna visualize using that dot and hear the sound as it's moving and tell me if what you see on the screen correlated with the sound that you are hearing okay all right so we are going to do the voice diagonals your room here I am moving 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 around your room here I am just moving moving around your room can you hear me moving through your room moving here I am just so so at that part right there right here where is it coming from I heard it over there where up no my, no I heard it yeah the so right he's in the me. I know but this particular sound Wait, Atif is right, yes. And you're right, he's right. I don't know what you're listening to. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So let's let's do it again. I know it was there at one point. Yeah. Alright, so, so the point was when the sound went from here to there, right? Could you hear it? Going from your front left over you to the uh, to the rear right? Yeah. You could? And where was it coming? Did you uh, hear it from this speaker at, at all? Or did you hear it here in this area, in this general area? Where? Atif? I don't know. It's, most of the time it was coming from there, there, and then right above I know, here. Right above you? I mean, yeah. Okay, but were there any gaps? Not really. There, right? So okay. The sound was moving, but at some point you were hearing it from all the speakers. He's Correct. closer to that one. That's yeah, that's hearing. why he heard it. All right, so I'm going to do one more. Yeah, you were recording the whole time. Yeah. All right, so this is the up and over. And let's see how they feel about this one. Remember the part I talked about when it's going to go from the center up and over, over you. I need you to tell me where you heard that sound from. Here I am moving, moving, moving. Can you hear me moving it's going through up. your room, moving Point. through the room, Start moving pointing. through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I, I am back, right? moving, moving, moving. But it started here. Yeah. Started here and then it went up, right? Yeah. To the ceiling and then it went. No, there is. Ah, say it again. Oh, it say it again. Say it speaker again. Speaker over there. We're in the middle. Yeah, like up there. No, there is no speaker there. That is what I was looking for. Mm. That is exactly what I was looking okay. for. So, Your Honor, <clears throat> I'd like to make a point here that Saf pointed to the middle of the room where there is no speaker here, and he heard it from there, right? Yeah. That's yeah. good. So I'm going to remove the top middles and ask them to listen to the same up and over and tell me the difference. Here I am. So same, same, same sequence where it's going to go to the center, then up and then over. All right. Mm -hmm. And you have to tell me if you heard any difference between this and the one that you heard earlier. Okay. It's been a while, so so your brain probably forgot that already. But here it goes. Room, I'm uh, moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Okay. Here I am, just. So was there a difference between this one and the one before? It stayed there longer. It stayed down here longer. Yeah, it did. And it stayed. It, like, it stayed kind of there. Up into that area, it just kind of. Say, like say that again. Say that again. I, I don't I feel like I still heard it from there, but like before I thought I was able to hear it from there. Right. But like this time from I didn't the hear center? anything up yep. there. You you didn't hear anything in the top center. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Right top center. Yeah. Okay. But and then it stayed it stayed in the center here longer and then did it and then what happened? It just skipped. It just kinda like skipped showed up. It didn't like skip back there. It just went slowly. No, I feel like it kind of just showed up back there. Yeah, that's the reason. The reason is these weren't there. Mm -hmm. Okay, these weren't there. So I'm kind of surprised that you still heard it up here, but these speakers were there. not. Heard it up here. Okay, so yeah, he, Unless he it was heard like it up that there. That and that speaker right. so, together that I just so, heard. So, so exactly. So what it was was the, the rear height and the front height kind of simulated that middle of the room sort of sound okay but but the reason why it stayed here longer is because this is where the speakers are and then it showed up over here because that's where the speakers are there was a gap that's what that's a gap in my opinion do you understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. if when these are here when this the top middles were there there was no gap mm -hmm. so you did hear 
a little bit of a difference. These are untrained ears. So basically, in my system, running these torture tests, the sound placement and movement correlates to the visual representations, especially around the speaker boundaries, right? But there is definitely room for improvement, as you heard in the video, right? There is a definite sweet spot where if you're in that sweet spot, you actually hear it very nice and clearly as as far as the sound movement is concerned. If you're closer to, uh, you know, one speaker or the other, then you start to localize, right? Uh, and, you know, from a top middle standpoint, I think having them a little forward doesn't really hurt my system. Obviously, I can improve upon that, move my sofa or my, my listening uh, area a couple feet forward and and that will solve the issue of the top middles being you know a little bit to the front as opposed to directly above right the plus side of this particular test was my nephew and my my brother basically they both pointed to the center of the room and and to the to the location where the center height would be, right? I've done a video previously where I was thinking of installing a center height, right? Uh, above the center channel. Uh, and I, I don't think I need that because this particular torture test did wonders, right? For me where I could hear it. I just wanted to see if these guys could hear that phantom, you know, center height that that was there, right there. Uh, and, and they did point that out. Uh, and then my brother who was sitting in that sweet spot, he could actually hear the sound move up. They also, uh, you know, made the observation that I had made, but you know, obviously I'm a little biased that if I remove the top middles, right, what happens? Is there a gap in the, the sound stage, right? As the sound moves from front to back over you, right? And they made an interesting comment. They said it stayed there longer in the front and then it showed up in the back, right? That is a gap. Right? So if you, so in order for these torture tests to work, right, because they're mixed with the top middles, and just imagine if you had a movie where they used the top middles and they mixed it uh, that way, it's very rare, but if they mixed it that way, then you would be missing out on the actual pan of the sound, right? So, so those are the two important takeaways uh, for me, at least from this video. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments about these real world tests uh, that I do. Um, and I, will, I look forward to doing more of these and I'll see you guys in the next one.